Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to one of my basic series. We are currently, as you can clearly see, uh, on Foxy right now, where we will be playing four cues uh, twice. Not sure how many of them I will be uploading onto the YouTube, but we'll be playing uh, two four Q games tonight at the very least in order to double rank up to two Q. Let's go grab ourselves a little bit of a game here. Got a 1033 game here in which I am black and open up. Uh, dual 3-3? Three, three, dual 3-4? Three, Sorry. Sure, dual 3-4. Bam! Something kind of like this, I uh, suppose. Alright, now I want to approach the widest side, that would be this one. But you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go ahead and enclose. Mm. I'm going to enclose. I'm going to enclose. Alright, he split me. I'm going to take an enclosure there as well. I'm not going to go into lar super large enclosures or anything like that. I'm taking your basic uh, your basic run-of-the-mill small light enclosures. He didn't actually have to respond to me because there's like two space here and here, so it was flexible, but whatevs. Now, one thing that I wanted to do, having played uh, double small, is I want to approach low rather than high. I've been doing a lot of high approaches in this series. I want to approach low simply because... I'm playing territory, and low is usually for territory. Now he attached to me, so I'm obviously responding, and then getting myself a base because I don't care. Grab myself a base is completely a okay. He's approaching my corner, but we're gonna go and once again approach him because we do corner side then center. I will split this apart because I don't want him to keep me surrounded. Now I could. I'd be tempted to just play Jiseki here. I admit, really tempted to just play Jiseki here, but we're not going to actually do that. Instead, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, he shoulder hit me, so I'm going to respond once. I will warn you, I'll take a local result, a little bit of a local loss here, since I'm not actually going to play Jiseki. But we'll see how we can respond in a bit of a basic fashion. Like right now, I don't want to push along the fourth line, and I don't want this stone to come out, so I'm actually going to just flat out cap it. No reason to fear this move. He's shoulder hitting me again. So I'm going to go and respond once more. Uh, maybe go over here, see if I can't maybe threaten to link up underneath or something. This seems okay too. Don't let that connect because we're going to divide and conquer as usual. So does this do anything? The answer is no, so we're going to extend up. Well, what if you don't know that? I can see how it would be a little bit complicated to read out. No, it's not really complicated, is it? Like, if you push and cut, you're going nowhere. No, this is not complicated at all to read out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to extend. I'll extend. Uh, I'm going to threaten to turn again. Okay, we're going to turn now. Um, let's so go ahead and poke this just to keep him a little bit weirdo shape. I'm going to defend my weakest group, which is right here, don't you know? This one can connect, so it's not my, it's not my weakest group. In, in little air quotes. Um, alright. I'll respond, because he's leaning against me. I'll respond for the exact same reason. Hot it headed two stones is pretty sexy, so I'll do that as well. Same with the three stones, so I'll do that too. Hey, look at that. Han at the head of the three stones. Alright, so we've completely enclosed his group. He has to live locally now, which I'm sure he'll do. It's completely a-okay for him to do so. 
but this game is called the Surrounding Game, so I am going to enclose the group. <laughs> he wants to go here and here and then push and cut out, but I'm going to play here instead, that way he can't do that. He really expects me to play here, and then play here, and then he can like Atari his way to freedom and like kill off these stones. Silly guy. He's silly. He's so silly. Ouch. Oof. Ooh, that's his. Oh, that's gonna. We're gonna. That's gonna leave a mark. So we could play here right now, and we're going to. Uh, if I play here, he dies. He doesn't respond to me right now. I mean, he's not gonna die, right? Oh god, I could kill- oh my god, I actually could kill him. Alright, we're gonna let him live. We're gonna let him live. We're gonna let him live, because I really, really, really want to show you something. Um... Oh god, you don't think you're alive, do you? He's not gonna play away if I play this, right? No, he won't. He'll 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 respond one more time. Cause right now if I throw in, he plays here on his turn. Good, nice, liking it. So the question is, how do we use all of our influence? Well, we can invade now because it's somewhere to go. So I can like play somewhere into here because it's threatening like this fourth, fifth line area that he wanted so badly, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice, right? He attached me, so I will respond. Same thing. I have Sente, so I'm going to follow up my move. This is all gone for territory now. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't be chuckling. It's kind of funny, though. I don't know what that is. That's just some weird peep. Hurts a stone, though. Alright, let's go ahead and... Um... Do something else now. Let's see about pushing through and cutting this off. I can push through, which is nice. I will defend myself. Uh, don't mind. I'm hoping he sees the danger here. He's not alive here yet either. Good, he saw it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, we want to use our wall here a little bit. So you know what? Let's just go and attach to it and see if we can make territory. We're just going to attach to these little low stones. See if we can make a couple of points. Seems like the answer to that is yes. And now we've also cut off this group, which is also great. So you have like one group, two group, three group, four group, five group. Isn't that nice? Um, here we're going to lightly poke at a shape point once again. You see how we're just going after shape points constantly? Incessantly, I might add. Um, go ahead and play here. Cut off that stone. Does this cut work? Do, 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 do. It looks like it works. I'm going to play here instead. If I play down, then he's going. Then he might have died again. He's like in a constant state of almost dying. It's kind of getting creepy. Every time I look at him, he's like turning into a zombie. Um, some territory here should do her nicely. We're getting an expanding expansion on the corner. We're threatening to do a surround again. Yeah, see how we're going to invite him to keep our stone while we surround? 
Same thing here, we're inviting him to take our stone so we can get a surround. He's not going for it, but that's okay. And then we'll just like finish off something like this. See, this is why I wasn't really interest why I wasn't really too terribly concerned with uh, what was going on with my group, right? Because this was gonna give me some points eventually. Sooner or later, it was gonna give me some couple of points. Maybe not a lot, but a few. It was gonna give me a few. Threaten to cut through. Threaten his corner. We're just nitpicking his, his uh, points one by one. One by one by one by one. Oh, bad move on my part. Oh, fiddlesticks. Uh, it's okay. We're still fine here. But if I play here, I might be in a little bit of a bind. I have to be careful. I, I my bad, my bad. I almost made a, almost made a boo boo. Almost made a boo boo. Let's just keep playing uh, end game because I mean the game's over. The score is as the score is. Da, na, na, na. I think we can probably play here for a couple of points in the middle. Uh, I'm hesitating because I'm I'm confused as well. I'm not really sure what's. Oh, uh, you want something cute? You ready for a cute move? Are you ready for a cute move? This guy is this guy is a cutie. Maybe I shouldn't be playing cute moves in in this series, but this one's too cute to resist. You see how this is threatening? You see how it threatens? Wasn't that a cute move? Come on, admit it. That one was adorable. We've like got rid of all of his everything in the center. And now we're playing here to threaten to push through and cut and kill up two stones? It's not... Oh, that was... Yeah. You see how the top turned into just this? Oof. Oh, that's bad. That's bad, man. That is bad. So I'm going to play here just to defend this and keep this from doing something really bad to me. Yep, he had to go back and kill that stone. Now he only has a few points there. Ugh. Sadness, sadness, sadness. Can go and take this stone. So his territory is this, this, and this. That's all. And we even avoided killing. Always took larger points. It's like a really, really fast game. Oh my god, 14 minutes. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to include both the games in this. And then I'll, rec I'll review them both at the end. Like right now, the game is over. So I'm probably going to jump cut the rest of this. And go directly into the next game. Ting. All right, so here we are again in game two. Gonna go ahead and open up as per usual, just taking up random moves that he hasn't played. Ooh, Chinese is scary. So the idea behind Chinese is you want to grow off the three, four stone. Now, modern days, we go ahead and approach here, and there's a lot of complicated things in the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and show you something different that you can do. It's nice and basic. We can actually approach from the outside, nice and far away, and then back off into uh, our happy little stone here. He does not want me to do that, apparently. All right, oh honey, sure, why not? I'll go ahead and connect, I suppose. That is very, very greedy, but you know what? I'm going to keep exactly doing exactly what I wanted to do. And just go ahead and play here and be kind of fine with this. Uh, I choose to take territory like so. Because I can make some territory here. 
Now he's trying to make a very large area over here and I'm going to back off again as per our basics and let him go ahead and get away with that. That's completely A-OK. -okay. I'm going to defend my corner as well. Now there's two three space extensions here, but we do corner side center first. I'm going to go ahead and approach like this. He's kicking me. That's completely fine. I'm going to back off like so, getting a, corner, uh, a little side area here. He's trying to defend the three-point extension. Uh, that's completely fine. I don't really mind him doing that. I'm actually going to keep my corner in its entirety. Nice little fourth line area. <laughs> All right, so here is pretty simple. What we're going to do here is we're going to come out first and threaten an invasion. He responded. And then we're just going to kind of like, oh, I don't want to kill it. <sighs> what do you do if you don't kill it? I don't know. All right. So we're doing a basic series. We don't know how to kill the stone. We're just trying to do basic stuff. Well, our groups are okay. So we want to take the next largest area, right? That would be this one. That'd be interrupting or growing. Growing's an interesting idea, isn't it? Growing's got potential. Huh. Tell you what. While I'm thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and play here. While I'm thinking about the whole growing thing, yeah, I think we need to contemplate what we're doing here. Or we could just Atari the stone and take these two, if he extends. Or we can just play here, okay. The whole growing thing is sounding better and better, isn't it? We're going to go ahead and just connect up this whole area here. So now we're going to threaten to go and separate that? I don't know why he's Hane. Now he can't do that, otherwise... Okay. Dude, you're almost dead. Basic series, basic series, don't do it. But it deserves it. It so deserves it. Just play the Atari. Play the Atari. It's not like he's actually going to connect. He's He won't connect. You'll get two stones, and then you pointed out why shape matters. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. There's no way he's going to connect. He's not, he's not going to play. He's not going to play here. He's not going to play here. He's not going to play. He played there. Um... The answer to the basic series is never supposed to be I won because he was not able to because I, I outread. So tell you what I'm gonna do. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Defending. Please defend. Don't don't make me cut you. Please don't make me cut you. I don't know why I did this by the way, I could have whatever, it doesn't matter. I can push through here in Atari if I really wanted to. Now I can't. These two stones are about to die. It's gonna go ahead and play here. If he hides, I'm gonna cut him. Okay. Please protect the bottom. Please protect the bottom. He's not protecting anything, is he? Ever. I don't want to connect to these stones because this one's mine. It's not his. So we drop down and defend. Again, same thing, we're just defending. Same thing, we're just defending. I don't know what to do here. I guess that one, whatever. He's so greedy, though. 
The answer is not okay. We're gonna, we're gonna somehow this is gonna live, and we're gonna take the middle. I don't know how that's gonna happen right now, but that's where we are. Oh come on, please stop this, dude! I'm defending myself. He responded. Stop that immediately. I'm defending myself. Please defend. I, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't have words to describe. Whatever, that's dead. He didn't, he didn't defend it. He's defending nothing right now. Apparently, it's, it's so creepy. I don't know. What, uh, it's, it's bizarre. It's, it's really bizarre. If he cuts here, I tar him. If he plays here, I go here. He goes underneath, it doesn't matter. And this is all done. Is he gonna go for a co, I wonder? He's not gonna connect. There's no way he's connecting. Okay, that's good. I really wanna play this. I so wanna play this. I wanna play that so badly I can taste it. But for now, it's gonna connect up my groups. We're gonna be fine and connecting up our groups. It's connecting up, being safe, being calm, trying to resist murdering things. I don't know if this has ever does anything, but I'm just gonna throw it in for giggles, I guess. He shouldn't connect that up. That's a bad move if he connects. Yeah, he knows it. He knows it. He knows it. That's good. That's real good, man. No, he doesn't. I lied. Uh, so we have all this for center influence now, so we're just going to go ahead and start capping things, just to kind of grow up our middle. I'm getting mildly irked here. So I'm defending the weakest area, which is this, not the huge wall. I'm afraid this is just gonna die. I have no I have no sympathy for these stones. Just absolutely zero. You know what? Tell you what. I will defend myself, though. He should have Atari'd first, so he got extra strength here. He didn't. I agree with that move, but I'm still looking at this and drooling my eyeballs out. Like, how do you not realize that's there? I just don't understand. We got the Atarian, this is just a surround. Nice. Never mind. I thought he was gonna get this one in Sente, so we get an eye. He didn't. Now he's gonna go for the kill. But this has got no liberties. It's got no eyes. He's just randomly throwing in. We're just gonna keep connecting and defending. This tech doesn't work, but I don't really care it doesn't work. I'm just going to go ahead and respond to it anyway. Bam, we responded. Throw in so he doesn't live. Going to go here to make sure that this is never an eye. Playing here, so I'm making two rooms. He plays here, I play here. He plays here, I play there. So we got me I. Therefore, I l actually don't care about whatever is going on here. So I'm going to cap the next group, next stone rather, because this is all dead. He's trying to come in. I'm going to keep him out. He's going to cross cut me again. All right, I'm going to defend this way because I want this as profit. He can have that stone. 
that's fine. He has to play like a, a, a table shape here, otherwise I play here, and suddenly you can see how this is a ladder. Um, I, I don't know what to say to that, actually. He's not going to play here, is he? Okay, he's not. Uh, not sure what that is. That's a weird move. At this point, it seems like he's just clicking randomly in my territory. As long as we just keep ourselves nice and strong, he shouldn't be able to do anything. I'm gonna Hana here because the Atari threatens to kill everything. I'm gonna play this as a defensive measure that I didn't actually need to play, but I did it anyway accidentally. I could throw in there, but I won't. Uh, instead, I'm gonna take and secure these two stones. There we go. Now we're nice and immortalized here completely. These stones are dead. I still can't believe this is still on the field. I'm actually having trouble believing that's actually still there. He knows it's there. I think at this point he's just betting that I don't know that it's there, which is weird. It's really, really weird. Should I show him? Tell you what, let's just show him since the game's already over. He could have just let me have these two stones, and then this wouldn't have died. But he didn't, so he did. So now this corner is also done. That's strange. That is so strange. That is so, so, so strange. We'll go ahead and review this game and show how we suddenly got like a huge middle. Depending on cutting point. Depending on cutting point. Um, I guess we can play here. Gives me an eye here. Defending something? I don't know what we were defending at that point, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to play here just to strengthen our uh, lovely little uh, thingy. Uh, I don't really want to keep playing anything. I mean, there's this. Tell you what, let's go ahead and push him into the right direction. Oh my god. I would have sat here for 20 minutes while he let his time run out. But we can review. We can review now. That's the important thing. It's the important thing. So in this game, we played Chinese. We approached on the outside to grow like 
Usually you just do this into this, so that's perfectly fine. This is good, this is good, I like it. My hair's a mess. Uh, oops. <laughs> um, he did there, which is okay. Normally I guess you'd probably play something like this, maybe? Like, I don't even know where you go from here. You can't do this. He tried to get away with this one. Uh, this one? But there's a lot of Aji back there still, right? Look, what does he do this one? Does he do this one? There's like a lot of Aji back there if you're willing to go after it. But we just played Calm and uh, Basic. Basic, basic, basic. This, I like how it tries to cut to everything, but it really can't because of the because of the point there. Like, what are you gonna do? Fit comes out, I come out. Fit leans. This is the most aggressive stance you can take on this, and it just doesn't go anywhere, right? So. This is a bit over. I've got this now in the corner. I guess we're going to do this one. Which is good for me because then I can expand here. Nice little two space. Yeah, large knights for influence. So this is a little bit weird being forced to go on territory and then being like solo. This, he could have Hanade again if he really, really wanted to. This is not such a good move because, again, he has the extra move there. Um, like, even this is better just to ensure that this is, like, harder to deal with. Like, I can't really invade this anymore. That would have more of a point to, like, defend your cut at your weak points. Instead, he didn't, so I got to, and then if I really want to, I can turn around and be like, hey, how you doing? Right? But I changed my mind about killing it, so I tried to play away, and then he did this, which gave me a ton of influence, and at that point, I don't really see a way for him to... I think I'm very much ahead in this game. This needs to be disconnected, and then we can go here. Now I can never push through here, which is good. Instead, he played this one. Again, same thing. Last chance, play here, I'll play there. But now I'm getting so much in the middle. Oh my god, it's crazy. This is not an even result. But he played there, and I'm like, okay, I'll play here, and I'm just gonna take this, and that's gonna be okay. That's gonna be that's gonna be fine. But he played here, which means this works. And at this point, this is dead. Like, even if he gives this up. All right, I lied. Sorry, this is a lie. My bad. My bad. Actually, no. It's Ko. Right? It's Ko. I think this was dumb. This is what he's looking for. And that's not even Ko, it's just this. So yeah, I couldn't play this way. Which is why I diagonal out. He can't Hana here, otherwise I cut. And then... Now it's like group, group, group. It's just not a pretty, not a pretty picture. The bottom is just so over-concentrated right now. He needs to pay a larger move! Like, get in there, man! Make a larger move. Maybe we can maybe we can play from this side too and start building it in the center. But he just like completely freaked out and had to just remove everything immediately. Which we were gonna let live. If he tried to live here, I was gonna let him. Like that's alive, isn't it? No, it's not. I was going to let this live. I was going to let this live to showcase the power of influence and how, like, on this board, you can't see the pop-up window. But he needs to hold on to everything 
and reduce me heavily in here for this to be an even game. And that's without me taking advantage of the 3-3 there, without me taking advantage of the fact that there's like tons of Aji back in here. So he has to give up nothing in the corner and take away everything in the center for this to be an even game. That's really, really tough to do. With it dead, it's just easy. There's no reason for me to respond here. Again, take the larger point. I did come on to see if he could actually reduce me. And then from here, I guess maybe this is a little, little bit aggressive. I could have played this one into this kind of deal. And then this just dies. I mean, there's just nowhere for this to go. Even if I wanted to back off and let this live again, I, I honestly don't see how I could have done that. I have no idea how I could have let this live. Even for the sake of the basic series. Like, short of getting rid of my stones here, short of sacrificing this, I don't see a way to do it. And to be honest with you, even if I do this, I still win the freaking game. Oh my god. Well, you don't see that every day, do you? I guess even this way I could still win the game, especially with the push here. Now, I want to show you uh, uh, the second game, the first game, sorry. Let's review that real, like, really, really quickly. So the first game, the really, really important thing in the first game So the really, really important thing in the first game, I think, is that little center bit. Remember that? You guys all remember that? The center bit right here where we backed off, like admittedly, I did not realize I was being so aggressive against him. But if I play here, he has to cut and kill me or go to Ko. Actually, it's not even a co. It's just him potentially being dead. No, it's a co, because I couldn't do this way. No, I could. Hmm. Difficult regardless. Oops, not that one. No, this one. Thank you. Anyway, from the start, we did simple enclosures. We approached low because we were doing low stuff. This is a bit too far. I can still play things like this later on. So being a bit greedy here. Here, we're just getting shape. And taking care of our weak groups, he's trying to connect. We said no to that. And now from here, he's got a weak group. So we didn't have to do that, I guess. An easier method would be just to shoulder hit this now, I suppose. And then let him figure this out all by himself, right? That would be OK. But I have been kind of mentioning divide and conquer a lot in my videos. So I kind of wanted to showcase it. Like, even without killing things, look at how many stones he's using up in the center, just trying not to die, and then he kind of failed that one. Like, right now, he should come out, but he was really scared of me developing the left-hand side. But I wouldn't, because my group in the middle is in trouble. So I'd have to play something like this first. And then, maybe? But yeah, impatience! Impatience gets you every single time. Impatience will always do you in. He got impatient here, and as a result, he almost died this game. Right? This fifth line territory turned into nothing. Why? Because he was impatient. Was this tiny group worth the fifth line stones, the fifth line territory? No, it wasn't. It really, really wasn't. But he was impatient and then lost everything. This had to be forced to live. That's ridiculous. And then here we're just leaning on the slow stones. Leaning on the low stones, making sure we're nicely connected, taking larger points as they come up. And it's making territory in the middle. So we didn't really do much. We're just constantly keeping our eye on where the largest points are. 
we're constantly keeping our eye on um, our groups, our connections, like here, for example, keeping an eye on our connections. Uh, down here, keeping an eye on our connections. Um, I'd bring up second game again to show you, but you get the idea. This middle part though is really, really important, realizing how we kind of keep the low stones low, just to grow is really, really good to note. And then I hope you all really enjoyed this cute move. This cute move wasn't basic, but I, I, I don't know. I saw it and I just fell in love with the little guy. Like I knew I wasn't going to kill him. So I thought it was okay to get away with it, right? It's like it's not going to kill him. I could just play like the boring blah, 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 blah. But I really wanted to show the other moves. I thought it was adorable. Because if you're not careful, right? We could have played it this way too. If you're not careful, we get into this and this doesn't really work. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Regretfully though, I mean, if I respond here right now and he connects, then he probably dies. Oops. But we're not, we're not interested in killing him. Not interested in killing him. Now, uh, about this part, you didn't see the rest of. Uh, essentially, he tried to get away with too much, so I just threw in here. Which means he couldn't defend, so I got to take those stones. He went after here, I just defended. He went after here. And this was really, really crazy. He tried to kill himself. This he has to back off on because if he plays this way, you see the problem? He has to play here and then this is a co for all of his points. It's kind of ridiculous. So we have to play away over here. No, not that one, this one. Yeah, there we go. And that's a huge territorial hit to have. Oh my god, huge territorial hit. In exchange for this, that is not worth it. This is worth nothing now. And now I'm, yeah, I'm a good five points up if I get nothing in the middle. You can see like if I get nothing here or here or here, then I'm a good five points up. So truthfully, since I have Sente, it'll probably be a bit more than that because I've got things like this to do. Uh, I've got things like this to do. Um, I've got moves in here still. I mean, it's, it's gonna be, Probably closer to 10 points-ish. Yeah, closer to 10 points. Instead he played this way, allowing me to... Look at that, because he's going after like the points. He assumed I couldn't kill him. But dude, I totally, totally could. He just went kind of crazy here. So I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. You'll see that in the actual game, I let it go to here. I let him connect under, which was kind of scary to be honest. But we're up by about five points at this point, so it's okay, it's okay. I let him get away with this because I didn't kill this and I didn't kill this. So it just kind of goes to show like how our basics are really helping us. We have so, so much better direction of play than our opponent, and our stones are much more efficient than our opponent, that even doing things like letting groups live isn't really hurting us. This connected, it shouldn't have. That's an extra like one, two, three, four points. Uh, this lived shouldn't have, extra lot of points. This lived shouldn't have, extra lot of points. So you kind of get the idea on how direction of play, knowing where those large points are, and just making sure that our own groups are A-OK -okay, really, really helps you. And how not once have 
We like been like, dive only. I had killed this. I would have been fine. It's like no, no. It's not where we are at all. It's not where we are at all. And same thing with him. Like our groups weren't in trouble. We weren't overplaying, creating a bunch of groups. So he can't say the same thing. He's not looking back on these games if he were to like review them and say, you know, Ooh, if only I had killed this. It's like no. It'd be like you know what? Ah, these stones didn't really make me much. Those got surrounded. That didn't really make me much. The corner's kind of tiny. It's like, ah, my, my stones just... How do I make them have more value? Right? So if someone's like looking back in these games as my opponent, they themselves are kind of like being pushed in the right way of thinking, of asking themselves, how are their stones... Uh, how can their stones be more valuable? Not like, oh, you know, how could I have lived here? How could I have lived there? It's like, no. It's all about the points. So I'm digging this series, though. Uh, and yes, I know, I, I, I will try to correct the hole that keeps appearing in my head every once in a while. Yeah, right, right, right there. I'm sorry. Um, but next time, we're doing something fun. Next time, we're going to go and we're going to put ourselves behind. That's right. That's right. We're going to put ourselves behind. I don't know how yet. I don't know how yet. Maybe um, maybe against a 4-4, I'll do something and just give myself a weird group to put ourselves behind in the beginning of the game, right? We'll just do something weird and then use basics to correct our mistakes and still hold on to the hold on to a game just by playing basics not by overplaying not going crazy not going fighting mode just adhering to basics we're going to use it to come back into a game that maybe we misstepped early on in. so i hope you enjoy that series as well as always i'll see you next time take care everyone